What is up guys? We are on the roll with our upload today. Today is Yu-Gi-Oh! We're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I haven't shown any of my Yu-Gi-Oh! decks in a really long time, so I think it's time to break the ice. We're doing Necros. Before you guys say, oh, it's Necros, it's just a stupid Vanities build that's super cheesy and re like ridiculous and all this other crap. Uh, I refuse to play that build. I played it for a little bit and then my teammates just wanted to quit the game and they don't want to play anymore with me. So I stopped playing it because and because it was boring me. It was just really boring just getting the, the vanities out and just sitting on vanities and just going from there. So let's start. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking. You have incantation. We're doing one. Sorry for the wobbling. Uh, like I explained in the last few deck profiles, my tripod broke, so I'm getting a replacement. But anyways, I'm doing it like this. So let's bear with you for a little bit. We're still running two Valkyries. I always swore on three Valkyries. And then just recently, I started burning two, and I don't miss the third one. I it's been so good to me. Two Trishula, right when the beginning of Necros, I ran two Trishula, and you guys knew me. I'm running dark games, running two double Trishula. People thought I was crazy, and then it started topping with two Trishula, and then Bandless happened, and all this little BS. So two Trishula, just because it's I'm familiar with the deck, and I've been doing it since the beginning. And because you need beaters, and you don't have any, like, especially because uh, Unicorn still out one, it hurts you a little bit. You do have the triple Brio, obviously, because it is unlimited now. You have the double Colossalus. You have the one Gungnir, because you need some destruction and some protection. Mostly for the destruction, because now mining mine, um, that mining card is complete BS. And you're able to get around it with uh, Gungnir to pop it, so there is that. And because she's both on both turns, she activates. And the one Unicorn, because he's not unlimited yet. But one day, one day. Uh, unicorn is also cute because you can still do the uh, Gusto Emerald um, plays. Obviously, not as powerful as before, but it's... it's I mean, the Gusto Emerald, yeah, it's there. It's just not as good. Now we're running monsters. Uh, I'm running, I am running Dumbo Deco Seca because I've always loved Deco Seca. And this is almost, almost like a turn two, I mean, uh, yeah, turn two build, sort of. Uh, you can go first, but, eh, since there's no vanities, I mean, going first doesn't help you that much. So I do have to double Denko, because also, if you were able to pull another one, or for whatever reason, you can go into, uh, if you really wanted to, uh, you know, neg a little bit, you can go into that, that Gusto and then use it that way. You have the double shirt because, he is now semi-limited. You can pop, bring all these for like one, except uh, incantation. Incantations, I hate with the passion. I hate imp incantations. I just have them here because they're kind of good. But, and Unicorn still at one, so it does hurt a little bit not run incantations until I figure something out. But I hate these cards so much because I miss my extra deck. That's what also sucks. Uh, if you have these on the field, no extra deck, so no emerald and whatever. So you're running a two, one, two, two split. Uh, the one is the one that brings back, I think, a spell from grave. It's not that good, especially because you have a preparation of rights or pre-preparation, whatever it is, preparation. Uh, there's no point in having this one, but it's just there as another name to help you uh, special summon. You're running some hand traps because you don't want to lose turn one because I didn't mention it's a turn two build, sort of, one lock, kind of. Uh, you have the triple drone lock bird. So it does help you uh, survive the first turn, especially against the uh, big beater decks, Salamangre. You have uh, Galaxy as actually a problem. Um, if you face any like com really competitive decks, sometimes Galaxy can stomp you because they can special on all these walls and these negation like fucking towers and you can't do anything. All right, Geeky's here because I, I just needed a card. I don't have a pot of indulgence, I think it's called. So I put in right Geeky there. Also because it's turn two, so if they make a wall of monsters, you're gonna be asked out if you can't get rid of their board and they have something like, I don't know, um, <sighs> the freaking ga the galaxy card that stops you from playing a spell, it, like absorbs it and whatnot, the rank eight. Uh, you also have Call by the Grave. Uh, I run three for the same reason of being a turn two build. You can go with against Ash and you're fine. You have your one upstart because obviously I don't have the pot. The one Cosmic Cyclone for the same reason. Get rid of annoying cards that... The only way to get get rid of cards in this deck is literally Trish and Gungnir. 
And if you can't get them on the field and you can't play them for whatever reason, I mean, you, you lose the game automatically. And nobody wants to lose. So one is cool because it does banish it so they can't get their effects engraved. So it was uh, like the cosmic. For the count of the Necros spells, you're going to be running two cycle, you're going to be running two kaleidoscope, and you're going to be running one Necros mirror. I apologize for the glare. Then you're going to be running the triple, for the last cards in the deck, the triple preparation of rights. So these are the reason why that incantation is not being used that much, because he's kind of garbage. And you can just play preparation, just get everything back. So for the extra deck, uh, I do have Super Polymerization in the side, so that's why the extra deck is the way it is. But you do have uh, Nephthys. I've, I've played her a few times. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's just a beater, honestly. If you have no other plays left in the game. Three Herald, because he's required. Uh, one Brio, just because I used to have the... <sighs> the Vanity Combo, and now I took him out, obviously. Uh, the Azure Eyes for the 9, uh, Leo 10, Star Eater 11, and uh, what is this, Quasar? Quasar for the 12. Then you have the, what is it, Fusion? The Fusions. You have uh, Entity, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Mud Dragon the Swamp. This is for the, um, the uh, Super Polymerization. So Starving, Starving, Mud Dragon. Then you have the Emerald, and then the Phantom Fortress. Uh, and Treblinier. I like him a lot. People hate him. But I, I was random because sometimes when I took him out, I ended up making double Trish. And I'm like, okay, well, I have two dead cards on the field. Because Trish doesn't do anything after the effect. So you could just, like, basically do a sort of like a third Trish. You just, like, overlay and then choose one of the Trish effects and just activate it. So, guys, this is Necros. Uh, be prepared because I will be releasing a spellbook deck profile for a lot of people who have been asking me. A lot of guys, well everybody, has been asking me on the spellbook Facebook group and on other groups, not even spellbooks like Necros and like, yo, what's your spellbooks, bro? Like, you're slacking. I got you guys. I got you. Like, I'm doing different variants. You guys gotta let me know what variants you want to see. Um, but that's for a different talk because this is Necros. Guys, this is Necros deck. This is my build. I, I probably changed like maybe one or two things. If I had the pots of of um, whatever the name is, extravagance, I will be playing the pots, but I don't have them. So this is Necros. This is Raiden from the, the Deck Smiths, and thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if anything. And until next time, see you later, guys.